so we're going to talk about bivariate data and the scatter plot. So what is the bivariate data and what is the scatter plot? So the bivariate data is defined as the set of data that involves two variables, while the scatter plot is the graphical representation of the bivariate data. So when talking about the scatter plot, this can be described by three things: the form, the trend, the variation. So form can also be considered the shape. So this could be either linear or nonlinear, as seen here and suggests. Linear shows a linear trend, a straight line, and nonlinear sh shows a curved line as the trend. Now, when it comes to trend, this could also be considered direction, and through the direction or the trend shown in the points in the scatter plot, we can then assert if there is a positive, negative, or no correlation between our variables of x and y. Okay, so when it comes to there being a rise of the points going from left to right, then there, this would show there being positive correlation between x and y. So as x rises, so does y. And if um, you could see a rise of the points going from um, right to left, then there is negative correlation in this data that is shown, meaning that there is, um, as x rises, y um, decreases or vice versa. Now, when it comes to no, there being no correlation, you can see as this is a nonlinear in form, uh, a scatter plot that is nonlinear in form, um, there is no discerned uh, or clear direction that we can observe in this scatter plot, so we can consider there being no or negligible correlation in this example. So next up, we're going to talk about the variation. So when it comes to variation in a scatter plot, this talks about the strength or the distance between points in a scatter plot. So we go from perfect to there being no correlation. So perfect is when we can see the points are in a perfect straight line, and as we go weaker, weaker in description, the points are farther and farther apart. So in this example that you can see right below all the written stuff, it is not perfect, but it is quite strong as the points are quite close to each other. As we go down to look at the other example, you can see that the, the points are farther from each other. So we can consider this being moderate. Now, if this um, next up in the other example, if say we these um, points were in a linear formation, um, and the points are this far apart, uh, you could consider this being a weak correlation, showing a weak correlation, but since this um, data is not linear, then this is just uh, no correlation. There is no seen correlation in this set of data. So now, for the three examples that I have shown you, we got the data from uh, these variables, with the variables in this paragraph being the number of days they were out of the house that same week being the independent and the amount of money spent on food last week being our dependent variables as is uh, shown and as is stabled here right beside our scatter plot. So again, positive correlation, x rises, so does y rises. Next up, we have here the data that is shown for our next table and you can see the variables here. The variables in this case being the hours of uh, playing mobile games uh, being x and y are um, our dependent variable being the scores in their last exam showing a negative correlation so it's a in terms of variation this is a again a moderate negative correlation the first one was a strong positive correlation now on our third example we have here the data that is plotted in the scatter plot uh, being our x and y being the cats and the dogs owned by families which own both pets. So you can see this being non-linear in form, this being um, no correlation or no distinct direction leading to no correlation in comes, when it comes to trend, and there being no correlation again when it comes to variation because there is no trend or direction. So we, even if it is like we can see the distance between points since it is not linear it is not in a trend or in a direction of a trend of points it is still no correlation or negligible in correlation so x and y in this case have no correlation um it does not matter if it does it goes that x ha has no correlation with y so it can either go in higher or it can go lower either way is fine and that's all thank you